Hello, my sparkling sunshines. Oh, cricket. How is everyone? Alright. Hello, everyone. How are you all today? Uh, it was nice and cool out here today. Uh, at first, it's kind of getting a little warm, so I think I'm going to go back in the house. <laughs> uh, I, I just started sweating. My arms just started sweating. And see, I've been moving around, too, so when you start moving around, especially in the morning time, it seems like throughout the day when you start moving and doing a lot of stuff, especially when it starts getting warm, it starts coming, so... But yeah, so okay. Whew. But anyway, hello, my sparkly sunshines. How was everyone? I did say that before, but it's okay to say it again. So, guys, summer crafting fun. So, what we're gonna be uh, creating? Excuse me. What we're gonna be doing? What we're gonna be making is it's like a mirror stand. Uh, decor is like a something maybe to sit like on your mantle maybe even hang on the wall probably so you know once we make it you know move it, it, it's trying to come once uh, we make it you'll see uh, like what you might want to do with it so it's, it's, it's a mirror stand and this is going to be the stand of it this is going to be the table part of it the stand you know uh the, this, this, this wood this square wood in this rectangle of uh, like plywood I guess what you call the plywood so yeah but then we're gonna make like the stand with this and then we're gonna do the mirrors and also oh I forgot we also are gonna use these we're gonna use these with it also so yeah so we're gonna be using the uh, the block wood, the the block wood, the long rectangle wood planks, and the square wood planks. And we're gonna use some mirrors. I, I don't any mirrors that you want, and however many you want. I'm using three. I'm I'm gonna use three mirrors, but um, you could do one mirror, two mirror, four mirrors, but. Because these mirrors kind of a big size, uh, I think one, two, or three is the most. I, I wouldn't want to do more than I wouldn't want to do more than uh, three of them because these, these kind of these mirrors kind of a, a nice size, you know. So these mirrors kind of big. So yeah, I wouldn't do more than three of these. But so this this project gonna be kind of a it's gonna, it's gonna be kind of a big project because the mirrors are kind of big, so you gotta make your stand big enough to fit all three of the mirrors. So, so, well, that's what I'm doing because uh, I'm, I'm making three. And again, like I told you, I'm just using up my stash, so that's why I, I decided to get three uh, of them. Uh, this, this is why I decided to get three uh, of these mirrors, you know. So go on and make up, you know, what I have in my stash and you know and, and do that all through the summer and maybe fall as well so we'll see we, we, that's what we're going to do so but yeah that's what we're going to do it's, it's going to be like a mirror stand type of decor it could you know like a mirror stand yeah it could be a wall art decor or a table art decor so yep that's what we're gonna do guys I was trying to think of make sure I said everything but I did say everything so okay so without further ado guys we're gonna get started with making uh we're gonna get started with making this mirror stand decor mirror stand wall art decor well just mirror stand decor <laughs> so that's that's what we're gonna get started making okay so without further ado let's go guys let's get started
Yes, sunshines, we back. Okay, look at this. It's a bigger, it's a bigger design. It's a bigger thing. Uh, and it takes you a little bit to uh, finish it. it. But not as long as you think and it's not um, um, as complicated. It's not as complicated and it's not as long as you think. You know, most things aren't as complicated as we think. But look at this. Oh, I love it. It is gorgeous. So, you saw me uh, when I came back to the video. And I put another foot on the legs to make it taller. I didn't necessarily ha have to. But as I was designing it. And uh, when I was embellishing it. Putting all the embellishments on it decorating it I, I you know because I, I like to think of like different designs I, and I was saying to myself I said you know I want some extra storage on this unit instead of just like on the, the top of the table you know on the floor part of it you know I, I want some more storage and it came to me a drawer a little a little drawer so I was gonna put the drawer all the way across but I have the uh, stability things uh, in the middle like in the middle right here I got the stability blocks right there in the middle and so that's what was stopping me from putting it all the way across so I say you know what I think it would look better anyway with two separate separate drawers now the drawers are not that big because it was a last minute it was a last minute uh, design idea, you know, or last minute de design decision. It was a last minute design decision. So, um, so they, they not that deep and, you know, they're not that big. It's just a little flat drawer, but nonetheless, it's still extra storage for smaller flat things, you know, that uh, you want to make, you want to uh, put in there. You might want to put in there, so... Um, so if you decide to make this, see now you have the idea if you want to put extra storage like a drawer on it that you can make your drawer deeper from the beginning because you starting it at the beginning of it. So yeah, so uh, but yeah, so yeah, it was a last minute decision. So that's how come my drawer is uh, in my eye. That's how come my drawer that you know and then I put and then you know I, I really didn't uh, decorate it cause I like you know a uh, Dollar Tree has some of this type of dog wood in some of the uh, wood block boxes and I like this color only thing I put like a little mosaic mirror towel like uh, over the lines cause I didn't really want the lines to be there so I put that there and then I just put the little gem that, that gem comes from the Dollar Tree, you know, because I, I used those, uh, like in previous videos, like uh, a year or two ago or so, when I made those little lighting situation things, like sconce and stuff. But, yeah, and I have, like, some red ones, some blue ones. I have an, um, no, I, still, I think I still got, like, a whole box of them. Yeah, so I'm probably making a lot of stuff with those, because I think I still... It may not be a whole full box, but I think I got quite a few in, in the box that I have of those. So I, I'll probably start making uh, quite a few things using those. Come on, it's these flies. I don't know what this, I want to use something natural to spray the trees and stuff with so uh, these flies won't be coming everywhere. I, I You know, I know they have things with the chemicals and stuff. I'm trying, I'm... I'm trying not to use so many uh, chemicals and stuff even with my spray paint I like the spray paint cause the way it looks but I'm trying not to do spray paint as much so I'm gonna have to start looking for like better paint that I can paint with my paintbrush uh, when I'm making my uh, crafts cuz yes yeah, so I'm, I'm trying I'm trying to uh, uh, you know eliminate uh, uh, too many chemicals and stuff you know just you know some some you know so anyway back to the design so 
here it is you see it is just gorgeous just just like it is uh when you put the drawer on it it depends on what you put for the base of the drawer see uh, what you saw me making the my base is you see under there is this i wanted it flat going all the way across so that's what my base this flat going all the way across i wanted my base like this but see you could just put maybe like two or three of the wood blocks on each side so that's what i say so at the beginning you already know if you want to put extra storage if you want to put a drawer or something then you would put you would make it so you could put um the three wood blocks on each side just so the drawer can slide in and out that's all you need maybe two or three going back on each side glued to the base of your uh, table and and then just put the drawer in there to pull the drawer in and out yep and then just make the drawer and the floor of the drawer and pull it in and out yeah so and you can make it deeper deeper so that's what i did so by me making uh the drawer here and making uh the base of the drawer the, you know, for the drawer to go in and out it's a little and then you of course with the mirrors on there it's a, it's just a little heavier it's not real it's not heavy heavy it's just a little heavier than what it was uh if i would have just put the mirrors on there yeah by putting that on there it's just just a little heavier it's not it's not real heavy it's not heavy at all it's just a little heavier than that you know then it would have been with that you know it's still kind of light but you know you can feel uh some weight to it so yeah so uh this is it everyone this this is it this this is nice i, I really like it and then i the way i showed all the how i was going to do the embellishments i showed you all all of that like on one side and i even showed you the mirror as i did the embellishment so that's why i went off camera and i finished the embellishments on the mirrors and I finished the embellishments all the way around the table part of it and when I decided I wanted to make extra storage I brought the cameras back on to show you all how to make uh, the floor the base of the drawer and the drawer itself yeah so you know but you could do it different ways so okay let me turn it around we are still on camera so let me turn it around and and uh because now i want to stage it i want you all you know see different ways you can do things you know oh, that's okay <laughs> so let's stage it here i told you all when I, that i want to start showing more of my, uh, my jewelry and you know if i tell you you know you see it i made it i made it Unless I tell you I didn't make it. So, uh, see, I'm so I'm staging it. And guys, as I'm staging it, uh, I want you all, don't forget to um, check out my Etsy shop. Check my Etsy shop out. And, uh, it just uh, like and follow some stuff. I mean, favor some stuff. I don't know if you follow them. I don't think so. But just like and um, favor some stuff on my Etsy shop. So again, I have different uh, templates and printables on my Etsy shop. I have different types. But, but uh now yeah but i'm doing that my main thing is like education and i'm doing that different things because i'm learning different things and i've gotten into it and i like it so i do a lot of different things um with the uh uh with my uh etsy shop so i sell different templates and principles and i have some that's you know pretty decent price you know if you're able to 
if you're able to order from me on my Etsy shop. I'm going to put my Etsy shop in the description and I'm also put it on the screen. I probably put it at the beginning of the screen, but I'm going to put it towards the end of the screen here um, for my Etsy address. But I'm starting off with multiple things and I'm trying to find my niche to figure out which one or two things I just want to master at. And um, I like all of them, but I am narrowing it down to like one or two things that I want to master it. So I'm, I'm filling out my niche. So uh, it's, it's, it's a few things on my Etsy shop, but all of them pretty much involve some type of learning. So yeah, all of them pretty much involve some type of learning. You know, so I'm, tr I'm, I'm trying to figure out which ones that, and, and then too, uh, if you have any ideas, what you think, when you look at them, let me know which ones you think uh, that I did the best as a, a principal or template. Template. Let me know which ones that you think that I did the best and that I should sell. Yeah, so, because I'm, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to figure out uh, which, how, I want to narrow it down. So I want to narrow it down to just one or two things in my Etsy shop and not have so many uh, things so but that's the reason why I have so many because uh, I was learning it and I was uh, testing it out and I, I really fell in love with it and I like doing those uh, principles and uh, templates so yeah so take a look guys and, and favor and follow some and again let me know which ones you think I designed the best which ones you think that will be a good idea for me to sell you know give, give me give me some ideas if, if you pick three or four you know still I can just choose from that uh, all right here's the staging okay here we go guys yep there we go there we go See, I just put different things on there and it could be anything you want to sit up there so it can be three three glasses like this it could be three candle holders like this it could be three candles all the way across like this so but yeah this this is my bracelet handmade handmade bracelet um this is also my bracelet I'm gonna take it off the the candle holder uh this is my bracelet handmade and I'm gonna move the candle holders and candle you know what maybe I sit the candle right here just put the candle right there uh-huh this was uh this is a like a I made this like a charm bracelet yeah and now all of these is some years old they still brand new but they some years old because they never been worn so I made this like a little charm bracelet um I just made the same design on it I didn't put like a little different things on it because I could have uh, made like different little designs of these little things like this and made all of them different or you know made two 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 all the way around and yeah I could have did it like that too but yeah this is a charm bracelet yes I made it um, I know this look like a necklace but it's not this is a bracelet see if it comes like this Oh, it comes like that. That's how you close it up. Yeah, it's a bracelet. See that? It's like a double bracelet. So yeah, I know it looked like it looked like it was a necklace, but no, that's that's a bracelet as well. I I make uh, all jewelry, but I mostly make I make bracelets a lot more than I do uh, necklaces and earrings. I make bracelets and earrings mostly. And I know you all wondering why she opened the drawer yet. Here you go, cause I want it's some it's I put something in there. Look at that, the drawer is functional. And these are the little blue earrings I made too earlier on. And uh, I made some of these, and I had different little uh, things like this. I had like yellow and. I think like black and white and it's blue. I think I have white as well. And I made necklaces and earrings with, with these. So yeah. 
So yeah, it's a functional drawer as well. Uh, I don't know if this uh, hang on here. But yeah, I made these earrings as well. I was trying to see if it had hang because I don't want to scratch the, oh, it stayed like that. I don't want to scratch the surface of my mirror. So you see, the drawer is functional. See that? Pull it out and in. And see, like I said, it's a little flat uh, drawer because it was a last minute design. And this is cardstock right here. I'll put this on top of the wood. And you don't have to do that. I just did that for, uh, I just did that for, uh, just extra, yeah, just extra design. Like, to make it look like some, like, uh, you know that little sponge? And it's black and shiny that that you have like in like in drawers or a piece of jewelry or something and it's and it's uh uh like soft and mushy you know to make it look like something like that you know to make it look like it's nice and soft in there but yeah that's just uh car stock there yep that's, the drawers are functional okay here it is this one is functional as well there we go and these this is from this is from earlier part of me making uh, uh, my jewelry and then you know I just designed something just to be designing something I said well, let me try do you know because I had these beads and I said well let me try this with this and then I had because I got these uh, uh, hooks right here I had they got I got these free for um, from when uh, the company that I order from that I order my uh, uh, bees and stuff from they always send you a, a free gift and they sent these this color hooks as a free gift and I said well I'm gonna make some earrings you know around this color and uh, and I think it was around Christmas time when I made these but these also are some years old and it did not look like you do it but they some years old they I'm telling you seven eight nine years old and never been worn brand new well the thing is I don't wear a lot of jewelry jewelry I, I never did wear a lot of jewelry um, but I do uh, you know wear just you know a little bit um, I think I had got a phobia for when I got my ears pierced when I was a kid and uh, somebody bought me some earrings uh, and the earrings was they was not uh, real. They wasn't real silver or gold. And uh, and I liked it. The, I liked the earrings because they was pretty. And then I put them in my ears. And I tell you, it gave me the worst, worst sore ear, rashed up here, all around my ear from front to back. It was horrible. And I mean, then you know, it, it had to go through uh, keeping it clean and infection. And then I was a kid, and I tell you, it was horrible. And I tell you, I I never wore earrings again. <laughs> and and the, my the holes in my ears are still closed to to this day. The holes in my ears are still closed up. I had I haven't never. Ever, and I'm a grandmother and I have never ever went back and got my ears pierced the, the ears and the other the holes in my ears closed up and I've never <laughs> I know and I've never ever went back and got by well I, I since I never did it all this time I'm not gonna go do it now but I never did and so I think that was like a little phobia that uh, kind of uh, kept me from wearing you know a lot of of jewelry because I knew if those bad earrings broke my ears out if I would have put a necklace or bracelet on that was also great and that's the reason why I started making uh, when I uh, learned how when I first started seeing it around and saying I said well I want to know how to make that because I want to make it for people like me that uh, those metals a lot of those metals uh, you know break you out and mess your skin and stuff up so that was another reason why I got into um, the, the the steel metal sterling silver uh, the real gemstones and 
just regular uh, beads cause some cause some of these is plastic so I got it's they plaid some of them is plastic I don't have too many plastic most of my beads are, uh, are glass uh, crystal and like the steel you know they can they steel they not I don't I don't have, I don't have any sterling silver just as yet I haven't started uh, working with sterling sterling silver those materials, those materials, those supplies are they're expensive. Sorry for the loud truck, everyone. That was the, that's the UPS truck. Sorry about that. That's why I stopped talking. Okay, I don't want to be too long on the video, but yeah, the sterling silver, sterling silver uh, supplies they're a little expensive. So until I start like selling the je uh, jewelry, until it catch on with me selling it. I'm not gonna do the sterling silver yet, you know, but I still would stay with uh, stainless steel. That's what I was trying to say. The stainless steel and uh, the crystals and, you know, these, these materials like this, cause this don't break you out. This don't break, the only metal is on, and that's why I try to get stainless steel for this. The only metal is like the ear hooks and the, uh, well, you fasten the uh, class. See the class; those are only metals that you know that would be on you. So I'm gonna put these earrings back in here. I ain't gonna try to hang them. So, but yeah, so I'll put those back in there. Okay. So, so yeah, so yeah, that's it. That's it. So that was just a little story on, on my behalf. But yeah, so that's probably another reason why they all brand new. And then plus. I made I got so many pieces I made a lot of pieces when I started learning I started learning and I was going going and going and I still make some now but I don't do it as much as I used to but I still make some now and uh, I have a um, channel I, I started it um, showing uh, you all how to make it but I only have like a few things on there and uh, I haven't even been on that channel in a little while. I got to go and see what the name of it is. And then that way I could put it uh, on my playlist. And then you you all could take a look at it and, and learn how to make your own jewelry. If you like. If you would like to. You know. So. so. But yeah. I'm going to have to do that and put it in my playlist. And then you all could go on there and see what you can see. If you want to learn how to make your own. Because right now my website technical difficulties it's so it's 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 closed right now uh, I close it up for right now but when I open my website if you uh, if you decide you know you want to start learning how to make your own jewelry I have a kit on my website it's it's a kit and it it starts you off because it's called the uh, I believe it's called the first pack kit and I, I give you beads, I give you beads, I give you two tools to start off with. Because those are the main tools you need to start off with. And I give you two tools to start off with. The beads. And a lot of different things. And bags, I give you, I give you a lot of different things. Even like the little uh, felt that you can put your beads on, so it, it'll be like a little beading pad, so your beads won't roll around everywhere. But yeah, I give it's a lot of things in there. So as soon as I open my website back up, I'll let you all know about that. I'll let you know that it's back open, and you could go on my website and check that out. But yeah, I sell kits. That's um, that's uh, you 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 know it's, and I also sell subscription that. You can uh, get a subscription for uh, three months or six months, I believe I have. I don't have a year. It's three months or six months. Because I got three months or six months. That way you can see if you like the uh, B subscription and you know you just order them you get a uh you get a supply of bees every month for three months or if you do the six month a, a supply of bees every month for six months and then it's a first beginning pack too like i said they have a couple of the tools in there bees and then it's all, all type of different stuff to get you started with learning how to make jewelry so 
I don't know how we got on that one. Okay, I don't want to be talking too long. This is it. This is summer crafting fun. Okay, using all the supplies that I have. So I want to use them all up. So it might go into fall and winter as well. Um, we'll see. As I'm digging in, I'm finding stuff and finding stuff. So, uh, so we might go into uh, fall and winter. So, if so, that's all right as well. And um, I can let you see how the back look as well. But uh, it's just I just got the, some wood on the back to hold the mirrors up, and you might see a little glue back there. But um, you could like cover that back, like especially if you make this and want to sell it. I will cover like if I was gonna sell this, you know, if I happen to be invited to like a craft show or something that's not too expensive, where I could take my crafts, I would put something on the back of this, uh, just you know, you know, so you won't see that that the wood that's holding the mirror up, and you won't see the glue that's back there. So, you know, let's just show you the back as well. See that? That's that's the back. You know, so. So um, I, I left the drawer open so you you know so you can see I got the earrings one upside right one upside down and then put the drawer like that and then you have the candle like this here and then the bracelet okay yeah guys well guys this is it i i'm having lots and lots of fun though it's a nice cool day i feel this wind blowing oh it feels good i love it um it was raining earlier but i'm glad it stopped okay so yeah that's the back of it guys and maybe i should pull this down a bit more yeah there we go so okay guys so this is it. I already talked enough about the jewelry. But yeah, all of this jewelry you see is handmade. I made it myself. So that's the back. Let's turn it back to the front. And this is it, everyone. I thank you so much for stopping by to take a look at what I'm doing. I do appreciate it so, so much. Take care of yourselves. Take care of yourselves. Be blessed. Be safe. Take time to be kind, please. Take time to be kind to yourself. <laughs> you know, take time to be kind to yourself. And definitely take time to be kind to others. Okay, so until next time, everyone. And thank you again. Bye. Okay, guys. Real quick. Oh, Lord, just a room. Sorry guys about this balloon. This is the birthday balloon. It's still hanging around, but the air is going out. It'll soon be deflated. <laughs> so, okay. I came back real quick, guys, because I noticed uh, when I was outside and I was uh, showing the finished project of this, of this uh, mirror table or dresser, what have you, I noticed we only can see just like the top part of it like right right across here from like from there you know to here so I noticed that you only can see the top part and I forgive me for that I'm so sorry about that uh you remember uh in the last video I told you all that I had a couple projects uh in this particular phone where my camera the front screen across the camera is cracked and it's, it's glaring and it's, it's making the video bad. So, because I have these projects already on this one, I'm using the back camera of the phone so I can record in so I can have everything together uh, to edit and put it all together. So I can put everything together in one place because it was a lot of trouble trying to move it around and put it here and there. And this particular phone won't mirror to my computer so I have to do the back phone and I can't see what I'm doing so after this uh, project after this project the other videos will be done with a totally different camera so I can see myself so I'm already I was in the process of it and everything is 
everything is a go so the videos after this will be on another camera so i can see and be in full view like i supposed to so that's why i came back real quick just to show you in full in full view of what the craft the crafting project look like it's finished and it's finished so the whole thing and it is functional drawers as i showed you see there uh, the drawers are functional oh oh here it is yeah so you see the drawers are functional you know they go in and out they kind of flat and you only can get something that's like very small and flat like the red earrings i showed you uh earlier in the video and or maybe like some type of paper or stickers something of that sort of band-aids maybe something like that so yeah that's that is the finish uh uh product of this project and here we go i'm going to turn it around so you can see the back because i was showing you the back outside and i noticed you didn't see it because you didn't see everything and i'm sorry about that tv you hear in the background my mom went outside but i turned it down but then my brother came back. He came in and turned the TV up. And he here I'm recording. So sorry about that noise. But I'm just going real quick anyway. But that's the back. And it's just a piece of wood that I put back there to hold. Uh, to help hold the mirrors in place. And then you might see a little glue. So if you make this and if you like. You could just put something you know over that. You know just to cover it. Because if I was going to sell this. I would cover this you know with the glue and the wood that's back there I will cover it if I was uh, selling it to someone you know maybe if I get like invited to some type of uh, craft fair that I don't have to pay uh, too much you know at this time then I'll, uh, I'll I probably would this probably more likely be one of the things I take to the craft fair to sit on my table um, in my a craft a crafting fair so but yeah okay so this that's I just want to come back real real fast to show you the project in full view and I do apologize that you only saw just that part of it so okay that's that's that was it that's that and again you know you already know I told you in the other one that the jewelry is handmade so again everyone take time to be kind thank you again for watching be blessed and be safe and until next time everyone bye